Mesa TV presents in 3, 2, 1. Dateline Schools with your host, Terry Harrington. Well, this week on Dateline Schools, I have the privilege of talking to a longtime school board member from the East China Public School District. It's President Mike McCartan, who's retiring from his day job, as well as leaving the Board of Education in East China after 24 years. And, and Mike, after 24 years, I'm sure you've seen a lot of great accomplishments that have happened in the East China School District and here in St. Clair County as well. Um, what are some of the greatest accomplishments you, you've seen come through as your time on the board? Well, I, I would say probably we have absolute best facilities um, in the county and, and maybe in the state. Um, and it was difficult uh, on, on some of those because uh, those were millages that were passed by the, the residents of the East China School District and um, they consistently were very generous in passing bond issues so that, uh, you know, I would say our Performing Arts Center probably is a jewel of the Downriver area. Uh, used you know, 200 plus times uh, a year, um, a great venue to showcase some of the really talented, uh, both young people and adults. Uh, Symphony Orchestra has been there. The acoustics are absolutely unbelievable. And that was a very controversial um, decision at the time, whether or not we needed it. And then the, the what we call the China Bowl, the uh, uh, facility next next to it, the football field that is now an artificial turf football field. And people would have recalled back when that facility was uh, grass, um, it was a mud bowl. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, after probably two football games a year, it was, it was basically unusable. Now it's used for, you know, band, for soccer, for track, for football. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful facility. As are, you know, the buildings like the uh, St. Clair Middle School, which was, was built during my tenure, and all of the additions that were made to, to all of the other buildings. Uh, uh, our school district uh, was blessed by having people really have the confidence to say, yeah, we think these are good investments, and, and we believe in the district enough to, uh, uh, to build these wonderful facilities. As with anything we always do in life, hindsight's always twenty twenty. Anything you'd like to do over if you had a chance? Well, I would like to have avoided some of the decisions we had to make if I had a chance. Probably one of the most painful ones was the closing of Washington Elementary in Marine City. Uh, with declining enrollment, it, you know, it became clear that we had more facilities than we needed. Um, and, you know, we had to make the really difficult decision. It wouldn't have mattered what school it was because the schools were uh, so precious to, to the families and uh, parents and grandparents in some cases that had gone to those buildings. Uh, but um, the decision had to be made based on, you know, what was objectively in the best interest of the entire school district. And so that was probably amongst the most difficult decisions. We'll be back with more tomorrow. For Dayline Schools, I'm Terry Harrington. <laughs>